Hello, how's it going? Welcome to the Nuclei Foundation series. I'm your host, Pwn Function, and in this series, we'll cover everything that you need to know to get started with Nuclei. I'm really excited for this one. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in. In this video, we'll cover the introduction to Nuclei, how to install it, how to use templates, and then we'll test out some of these templates with some basic options provided by Nuclei. And then we'll explore some superpowers of Nuclei. And then finally, where to get help when you're stuck. This video is timestamped. You can jump to any section you want and feel free to skip, rewatch sections as you like. And all the mentioned links will be available down in the description. Right now, what is Nuclei? Well, it's a community powered vulnerability scanner. In simple terms, one can write something called as a template that defines a blueprint for a vulnerability. Like I could define, oh, send this type of HTTP request or look for a specific string in an HTTP response, stuff like that. But this template is fed into the scanner and you provide a target. Now, Nuclei will go ahead and make that request based on the template that you just defined and find if there's a vulnerability or not. Nuclei is extremely customizable. We can do all sorts of things. We'll explore a lot more uh, in detail in the upcoming videos, but for now, that's a high level overview. So what does this community powered actually mean? Well, Nuclei is open sourced. Since it's an open source project, there are a lot of contributors, especially for Nuclei templates. There are about 4,800 odd templates at the point of making this video, and the count is only just growing every single day. You can find all of the templates on a dedicated GitHub repository called Nuclei Templates. Now let's go ahead and install Nuclei. The simplest way to install Nuclei would be through Homebrew. If you're on Mac or Linux and have Homebrew installed, you can simply just do brew install Nuclei. That should be good. If you have Golang installed, you can use the command go install to download, compile, and install all the required packages. If you want to manually compile from the source, you can just download the source code from GitHub and compile it with the Golang compiler. And if you are not a fan of compiling anything and just want to download stuff, well, I got an option for you. You can just download the compiled binary from GitHub releases. So every single version of Nuclei is compiled into a binary for a specific operating system. You can simply download it from the GitHub releases page for your operating system and you're good to go. Additionally, you have options to run Nuclei inside a Docker container and also Helm charts for Kubernetes is also available. All right, to check if Nuclei CLI has been properly installed, you can use the command Nuclei-version. Perfect. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the core part of Nuclei are templates. So these are written in a language called YAML. It's a data serialization language, just like JSON. Very simple and easy to work with. On the first one of Nuclei, with no options, just Nuclei, it would basically go ahead and download all those 4,800-ish templates and place them in your home directory under the name Nuclei-Templates. So there you go. All the community templates are available at your fingertips. So these are automatically updated on new run if there are any new templates that have been added to the official repository. So it would just go ahead and download that for you. Now, before we get our hands dirty, get some action with Nuclei, we can actually get to know our options that we can play around with using the command Nuclei-H. So this is our help screen, which lists out all the available options. Now that you know where to find all the list of available commands, let's proceed. Let's use the dash U switch to specify a target to scan. Nuclei dash U and the target. Well, this will go ahead and scan our target with all the available templates. So that's 4,800 odd templates. 
As you can see, it recognized a few missing security headers in the target's website. Pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and stop the scan using Control C, which is the keyboard interrupt. So the previous scan loaded all the templates available, which might not be the thing that we need always. So we can set constraints on a specific folder. So this would go ahead and run the nuclei with only the templates inside that specific directory. So we can specify the directory using the dash T option, nuclei dash T DNS and that will go ahead and run all the templates inside that DNS folder and dash U for the target. There you go. That only loaded 17 templates, which were under the DNS folder. And if you have custom templates put in a folder, you can also provide the entire path for that folder with the dash T option and Nuclei would only run those templates. Pretty neat. Cool, we scanned a target one target. What if we had like 10 targets? Well, you can put those targets in a text file and use dash list to tell Nuclei to perform scans on all of those targets. Nuclei dash list targets.txt. Beautiful. Now that you have a decent idea of what Nuclei is, let me give you a high level overview of some of the superpowers that Nuclei possesses. Starting with a range of protocols, Nuclei supports a lot of variety of protocols such as DNS, TCP, HTTP, file, etc. It also has great speed. It can process thousands of requests a second. With Nuclei workflows and dynamic requests, you can create very complex templates which involve you know, stateful exploits with multiple stages. Nuclei also supports fuzzing, so this is sort of a relatively new feature. You can also integrate CICD pipelines, which can monitor your staging to production environments. Pretty cool. And also you can achieve continuous regression cycles with regression tests with your custom templates. Well, Nuclei is packed with superpowers and it's only getting better every day. So be on the lookout. And the final thing I want to talk about is, what do you do when you get stuck? Well, I know you're going to ask ChatGPT, but let's say you need a human to help you. We have a Discord server. You can find me and many other people from the Project Discovery team. So you can just ping us there and we'll help you with answering your questions. And additionally, you can check out the uh, documentation, which pretty much covers everything about Nuclei. So yeah, let's, uh, let's summarize what we've learned so far. So we learned on a high level what Nuclei is all about. We installed it. We also explored the idea of templates and we tried a bunch of basic commands with Nuclei testing it on a dummy target. We also explored some of the superpowers. And finally, we explored places where you could find help if you got stuck. Now I think it's your turn to get your hands dirty with Nuclei. I encourage you to play around with it. Best way to learn is to get hands on. Alright, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.